Yo. Quick video going out a red glove militant. And apologies to you red cuz shit's been real busy with a lot of drama. We got big tech legal issues we taken care of due to their disgusting illegal behavior and cut and upload due to Bane in YouTube prison. Anna shit's truly disgusting so we need to make some videos on that too. Though they'll probably make sure no one sees the motherfucker. Yet that's probably a good thing. Cuz we was gon' tell you some in vital. Some in you ain't never heard. But away our plagiarizing Nicodemus trollin' channels act is wiser we didn't. They know he hardly up in his motherfucker and love runnin' with shit we say while fakin' like they know someone and came up with it when they don't know diddly fuggin' squat. Nevertheless Red we said we'd drop you one and wasn't allowed to upload. But if by chance anyone other than Red's watchin' without knowin' what this is about. Red not long ago lost his lady. So he was gon' drop a video givin' our condolences and choppin' it up on a few vital things. Sadly big tech made us incapable. All in all we hope you hangin' in there red and doing good cause we know you expressed shit being difficult, however we see you've been active since, so that's a good thing. And from what you've said. She had a smooth transition. So we hope things go in okay with ya. But just a run down a little history for those unaware. We met red bout six years ago. Had a fight in Jay Cotto's fight page. Not a literal fight. Just a video game boxing match. Anyway we beat Red's ass. Had him all busted up and shit. Think it was Red. Anyway we beat someone's ass and think it was Red Glove Militants. What? Fuck y'all expect we was Ali. But in all fairness a Red none of us had control over the controls. Yeah. Yeah whatever floats yo fuggin boat believe it. But Red who had a different name back then didn't mean diddly fuggin squad us. I mean we didn't dislike Red we just didn't know him so he ain't mean nothing to us. And we probably didn't mean squat to Red Nita. But Jay Cotto put us on to him so he subscribed. Even though he couldn't stand his name. That however was out of respect for Red stead of disrespect. Thank God you changed it Red cause Red gloves the name we like. His previous name was just a bit too humble for us in a midst of a bunch of non-boxing knowledge having channel motherfuckers. When you know more than motherfuckers rock in a humble name while they don't know diddly fuckin squat rock in a narcissistic alpha fraud names that shit just ain't gon' fly. Yeah. Alphas yeah yeah fuck a fuck out our faces with that crap. But I get back to the point. After listening to Red's first few videos. The ironies Red went from someone we ain't give a fuck about to one of our favorites. Only took a few videos to appreciate him so was pretty fast. Reason being was simple. Red's real and honest without a bunch of ego games just calling it like he see it and that shit's hard to find. Now he literally click every Red video. Cause even if he roots for a fighter he gon' keep it real with no clickbait along with actual logic. Nut and phony. So he became a favorite pretty fast. Work and get busy so he might catch him a day or so late but we watch his videos. Anyway when you become a favorite naturally we give a fuck. Plus we resonate with artists. Painters, sculptors, writers, photographers, musicians, editors don't matter we appreciate creativity. Editing's no doubt a art. Personally though red. We'd suggest investing in a professional camera if you ever want to expand in creativity. Your choice though. Less you already have one. If you do. Photography along with film and asset materials not a bad idea cause you got a passion and there's environments online where the appreciation and money making potentials on arise. And we ain't talking about YouTube. Especially being in Florida. Cause there's boundless visual gems out there people who actually appreciate the arts wanna see. Plus a professional camera is a fuckin' door opener. Now you ain't gon' find a lot of boxin' fans at that gallery show but you gon' meet some good people. And yeah. One or two still gon' be in a boxin'. Might even be directly involved in it. Ten players is livin' proof of that. But that's another video. Point being's cause of the stuff we resonate with the gloved. So if you lose someone in life we get it. And you're red. Due to losing two people in a past year we resonate with his situation. Like this video wouldn't even be being done if they weren't part of our lives. So it shows how people will never even meet affect one another. Like we never met a lady you never met the ones we lost yet they got us chopping it up with one another. So. This kinda truths why ordinarily we never talk about that kinda stuff cause too many trolls on YouTube so we keep it on a down low. Cause we ain't gon' have one of them making light of these people's souls. Only mentioning it a you read cause we gotcha situation. Knowing there's people who get it makes a difference. Someone vitals they're in a flesh and suddenly they're not. Wanna talk about surrealism betcha ass shit can get surreal. 
especially if there's material belongings we gotta sift through and make decisions about. Coming up educational system taught the ancient Egyptians buried people with their belongings so they could take it to the other side with them. But a actual truth's this. Personal belongings one use tenna have their energetic signature and history. Often we gotta decide what should be kept, released, and what they wanted who to have or what a wanted who to have if it's not in a will. And in ancient times certain magnetized personal possessions were never to be tainted by another's hands. That even goes for people still in this realm. Like you ain't gone wear some other dude's underwear for good reason. Nevertheless these people had a science to what they did stead of this primitive layman minded crap falsely imposed on them from tomb invaders that got no idea what a fuck they talking about. The ironies lose and someone can bring our spirits to life. Realizing what we think's real's not as real's we think and what we think is and real's realer than we know. Things this red cuz we ain't gon' let this video be too long. However we resonate with it cuz we got a love for some of the same shit outside boxing. Your passion creatively editing's got nothing to do with boxing. You've just merged it with boxing since the fight game's another one of your passions. But you got a creative streak that's a soul thing. We personally never showed what we do in a boxing community. That's a ways of time and art motherfuckers mostly wanna kick boxing so we bring that shit of where the art's at. Point being read. We kick it on anything life concerning. So if you ever got some in outside boxing on your mind you wanna chop it up on. Just know. Times like this you may wanna delve in a deeper shit. You might wanna talk bout losing someone and dealing with it. Or might just wanna talk bout some of the deeper shit in life. See bus it red. We all got good friends in a fight game. Friends who care. Friends who support if we got drama. Though there's few who can literally kick it on a drama cause few in this world got minds that delve that deep. Farce the mysteries in life go most motherfuckers gon' tell ya only God or no one knows. Well let's just say that ain't us. Or we'll tell ya we all got God sleepin' in us wake em up. That's if ya spiritual. If ya an atheist cool no problem we got a deeper nature in us. Nevertheless read if deeper shits ever on yo mind box and buddies given condolences are no doubt needed, but ya may wanna delve deeper at times and can't. Got no one to delve deeper with. Well we delve deep. And you may not know it but we got some friends in a boxing community that delve deep too. That's one of the mysteries of the player crowd. We just take it to another sector where motherfuckers with those type minds dwell. Point Bane read. If your soul's ever feeling kinda empty. If you can go but so far which a boxing buddies. If there's ever some in you think no one's gon' get. You might be shocked how much we do cuz ain't no mystery in a universe off limits for us. Anyway respect a you read. Your lady as well. When a yo channel and you seem a be getting back in a swing of things. Just know you got friends in a community who can kick it on other stuff. Cause shit gon' happen in life. No in a truth bout what we are makes a world a difference. And few can kick it on a truth bout what we are cause few know. So we often choose entertainment when we should be chosen in our containment instead. Even box and just forget the fact we don't know. Well. Not we. People. We personally faced what we ain't know and dared finding out. That's how players become players. We'll leave it at that. By the way Red. You got a artist deep inside ya. And boxin ain't its home. Boxin a home or box inside. There's other homes for your artistic side. Cause it's very therapeutic for the soul. But there's exclusive shit for those we cool with. And we know our stuff. And yo Red. No summon. If you left this world tomorrow. Motherfuckers in a boxing community gon' move the fuck on. This don't mean you ain't got boxing homies who gon' give respect to your name. But they gon' move the fuck on. And ain't much no video you ever made gon' matter. Shit gon' be dust in a wind. It ain't like the art community that pays homage forever. So it's wise to take care yo soul business first. If you got a passion for summon. Do it. Begin and start it. Cause we can tell ya. You got things inside ya that'd open up new universes to shit you'd love. We mentioned cameras cause we got a knack for knowing what people be good at and flown our drones everywhere from mountains and lakes to cross the fuggin' ocean. Nor they expensive and we ain't even started yet. But that ain't our sole business. Our sole business is what got us doing it. Anish is a blast. Perhaps you've other passions. We'd suggest you engage with them if so. You ain't gon' regret it. So peace red. And until a next one. Y'all know how we roll. Yup. We out.